well start. Allen now on first down. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. They'll flip this quickly. Throwing on first down is Allen. Complete to Jones. Bills, 652 receiving yards, seven touchdowns. More than double his production from 2017. Now they're hoping for an even bigger bump this year. Allen's throw is good. Four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it, they love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. Philadelphia territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. Pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to them early and often in hopes of breaking down the defense. So some big It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. Well, they hit him in the backfield. Three yards in the wrong direction. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but uh, looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed him for a loss. That's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on it. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... Yeah, and he's probably saying, if he can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Seven yards there and a first down. McCoy. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. They'll run it with McCoy. And he'll go once again. That we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It's certainly wins to Ertz. Wins now to throw. And he's going to be dropped. Back of the fit of third and goal from further back than when they started. And the really good play callers look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. Now the Bills, well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. Wentz going to go on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Their time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in. Big third down alert. Lock in here. Fourth down play. Make sure you're focused. Just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. It's caught. Smith. And a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Allen to throw it. And Assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Throwing is Allen on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he'll run. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before. Knowing that they are out in front. Now wins. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds. Now. Throwing his wins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. A final shot before half for Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They tend to begin their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, you know, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively and need to take advantage of it. Now they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. And Elwise pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. They still look. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Zach Ertz. Their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now Allen is complete to Jones. There he goes left side. They're all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A big play.
one play that changes that. The maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he connects with Ertz. And all the way inside the Ertz. Here's Wentz to throw. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Eagles come to the line to start their next drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take it away because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. On play action, Allen, rush coming, and he's tip number four. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They go with a screen to Gore, and he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. A short gain and really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays harder to one score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly. Well, this is taken in. And that for a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. <laughs> Working from the gun. Wentz. And he'll hit Jeffrey. Complete play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now Wentz. And oh, he took that in one-handed. Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Now wins. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Wins to throw. And he can't get it. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Now wins. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz. A minute 45 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Here's a throw that's taken in at the yard line. They go play action here on first down. Complete. Smith has it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's got Smith here. And it's third down now. Allen to throw once more. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an intercept. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, after the huge conversion, but they need to get the football back. So this is where special teams really comes into play, because getting the ball back, it starts with this next kickoff. How do they get downfield? Either jar it loose. Check the out, check the out, check the out. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to... Oh, no. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bulls. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free. Made a Unit run. is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will tie it. Wins to throw. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. 
Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a few old time. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Allen going to throw. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And they are going to set up shop at the 30. It's a loss of five. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Wentz going to throw, and that will be incomplete. Down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and that changes everything here in and you don't want to hang too much of this on your kicker, but he's going to leave you in a tough spot as well because you give your opponents excellently get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. And that play going forward to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here's Allen to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's fit set to begin their next drive. Neither team scored yet. Now we go to sudden death. Next points win this game. How about the tension right now? <laughs> He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 37. And how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing his wins. He finds McCoy. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. Now the timeout comes here in the waning game winner. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So for the Eagles, the win means they'll finish the first half at a respectable 5-3 and three record. And they will head back home next week.